It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 650, and I'm Dr. Neil, your host of the show. Welcome back to another Friday show where I play your questions and simply answer them. On all the other days, I read health and fitness blogs to you like an audiobook, but with permission from the authors, of course. Now, I always say I want this to be a place where you can come to learn the truth. What makes me such a great truth teller? Well, I do have my doctorate degree in public health with an emphasis in chronic disease prevention and nutrition. I also have my master of public health degree with an emphasis in health education and health promotion. I'm also a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified health education specialist, and a certified exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine. Now, having all of these degrees and credentials doesn't make someone tell the truth automatically. But in my case, I take it really seriously. I wanna look at the research and look at what the data actually say, and then give you that information, but not just based on one study. I like to look at many studies, because one study can be misleading, and so that's what I like to present here. So when I respond to your questions more often than not, I use data from research to respond, and that's how I share the truth with you. Now, I'll let you know how you can send in your questions at the end of the show, but for now, let's hear today's question and start optimizing your life. With St. Patrick's Day freshly behind me, I found myself wishing for a system cleanse after all that delicious, rich food and beer. I was feeling heavy and kind of bogged down the next day. If you have any advice on a post-holiday system cleanse, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for your question, Christopher. I do realize you had actually asked this question about a year or so ago, and were wondering specifically about a post-St. Patrick's Day cleanse. But the timing of your question is still perfect. I am sure many have the same thoughts, given that many may have blown it over the holidays and feel as though they now need to make up for some of their quote-unquote mistakes over the past couple of months. Plus, earlier this week on the podcast, I read an article on detoxification. So your question kind of goes hand in hand. Now, from experience, I can tell you that two to three months of consistent overeating can lead to some significant weight gain like possibly some systemic inflammation. Now, I've mentioned this before. There was a time in the not-so-distant past that I was able to gain eight pounds between Halloween and January 1st, but that was me consistently not following the behaviors I normally do. But a weekend or two of binging likely won't make a difference. But again, consistency, that's the key, whether it comes to gaining or losing weight. But Christopher, your question wasn't about weight management, so I digressed. You were wondering about ways to reset your body after a holiday and possibly undo some of the things you did to your body. Here's the good news. You don't need to worry about purchasing any detoxifiers or internal body cleansers. The key is to get back to the basics. Here's what I mean. First, consume whole, minimally processed foods. One of the best ways to keep your body functioning optimally is to consume more fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. I sound like a broken record, I know. Why? It's because these foods are sources of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Think of it this way. Imagine your body is like a car. The quality of fuel we put into it may help it run more optimally. Think of fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, and whole grains, you know, the stuff I always talk about on this podcast, as fuel of the highest octane. These foods help keep our body running smoothly because of their vitamin, mineral, and fiber content. Next, get up and move. When it's cold outside, I know it can be so easy to want to stay indoors, sit by the cozy fire, and catch up on all of those Netflix shows that your friends keep bugging you to finish. Yes, I'm speaking from experience here. Here's the good news. You don't have to brave the cold to get moving. Within the comfort of your home, you can walk or jog in place, jump rope, or if you don't have a real jump rope, just pretend and do what I call invisible jump ropes, perform push-ups, sit-ups, do some shadow boxing, you get the idea. Moving helps cleanse some of that clutter in your mind and releases hormones that make you feel good and may help clean out your arteries. Next, stay hydrated. We often think that dehydration most often occurs in warm weather, but believe it or not, When it's cold outside, you're also likely to be dehydrated. So don't forget to keep your cells functioning their best by consuming enough water. Notice, I said enough water. 
That means there's no need to consume too much water. If you do, you might end up excreting some of those vitamins and minerals that you spent so much time and care consuming from tip number one. I also recommend you relax. The body needs both rest and sleep. Finding the time to rest the body and mind is important, especially after the holidays. You may have spent the past two months with the front door of your home acting as a revolving door with family and friends coming and going as they please. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about social support, but too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. There may be a point where you just need your own space and your own quiet time. Finding some real quiet time to breathe, possibly even meditate, can help you recharge. And lastly, sleep well. Rest and sleep are two different concepts. I used a car analogy a second ago, but I'm gonna switch for a moment and use a computer analogy here. Sleep, particularly deep sleep, is like providing your brain with software updates and then sending it through a hard reboot. A large misconception is that when you're asleep, you're giving your brain a rest, but this is not true. The brain is actually quite active while you sleep. Again, think about it like performing updates. It's sorting things, cleaning out junk files, making sense of the events of the day. This is all happening while you're getting that deep restorative sleep. And allowing your brain time to do all of these important tasks while you sleep helps you feel your best when you wake up. Plus, your body can use this time to repair damaged muscles and replenish your immune system. Our immune system helps cleanse the body by killing harmful microbes. So the best way to cleanse your body after a prolonged period of not-so-healthy behaviors would be to restart some of those healthier habits. Think of it this way. Take someone that has smoked cigarettes for years and years. Researchers have found that within a couple of weeks after quitting smoking, the body has already begun to repair itself in some incredible ways. This is without any special cleansing agents. So the same can be said for other habits. After the holidays have ended, go back to some of the healthier behaviors I just mentioned and give your body a jump start to cleansing itself. Thank you again for your question, Christopher. You'll be entered into a very small raffle every month to win a book. And if you want to send in a question, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way and call in. The number is 61 I love ohd Both methods are in this episode's description, which you can find at oldpodcast.com. All right, that'll do it for this week. I thank you so much for listening every day and all the way through. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back here as usual on Monday, where Optimal Life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.